Hi guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a look with the Kami X palette. So this is the palette here. I've had it for a couple of months. It's really lovely. It's got lots of um, muted colours, lots of matte colours and also a few shimmers. I think I used it, I did use it briefly in a video the other week when I was doing the pink one. I used the pink but these are the colours that it has. I think today I'm going to go for um, this one just here which I think I don't think I've used that one yet. So that one, this one I think just in the corners of the eye just to bring it out. And I think I will do this one with one of these. I haven't decided yet, but I'll go for that one. So that's my face primed. Now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I've actually ordered some more, um, a new eyebrow pencil, which is very exciting. I've ordered one, which is Anastasia, Anastasia, I never know how you say it, Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I've heard really good things about. So I've ordered that one. It's a brow pencil and it's also got a brow gel that comes with it. So we'll see what that's like when it arrives. I've also ordered a new eyeshadow palette. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out as well. If you hear noise in the background, do excuse my neighbors, they're doing work. Who knows why they're doing it on a Sunday, but I guess at the minute, days have no time. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to conceal my eyes and then I'll go ahead with my transition colour. That one's done. So I think for my base colour I'm going to go in with Addicted which is this shade just here. It's like a caramel brown. It's really beautiful. So I'm just going to put that one on the crease there into the V here just as normal. The one thing I would say about this palette is it's a lot more pigmented than the Beauty Bay one. So you don't need as much as you do with the Beauty Bay palette. It's um, definitely less is more with this one. So if you're used to using one that's a bit lower pigment, then you definitely need to start by using a little bit because I definitely always go in really ham-fisted with this when I have used the Beauty Bay one. So yeah, I would recommend using it sparingly to begin with and then build it up. Going to go in with you do you which is like a deep purple purpley maroony color and then I'm going to use that for the cut crease so I'll put that over just a nice line here and then I will cut my crease with the cut crease canvas just here and then I'll go on to the lid color for the lid I'm going to be using this gold shade just here money maker it's an incredible shade, but it's very, very glittery. So it has a, quite a bit of fallout. So I'm gonna go and put this shade, Honesty, on it first. And then I will go over with the Money Maker. Um, you really literally need a little bit. I watched a tutorial that Kami did, and he said that with the top layer, it's best to use your fingers because of the um, creaminess of the pigment, um, because of the creaminess of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use a small brush for the um, Honesty just there, and then I'm gonna use my finger for Money Maker. As you can see, that color is incredible. It's so shimmery and shiny, I love that. So now I'm gonna blend the um, cut crease slightly. I think I'm also gonna go into the corners of my eye just here with Cause of You, uh, just so it kind of brings the readiness of this and the um, yellow of this just kind of blends it all together with a bit of a peachy color and then I'm going to go I'm going to leave the top of my eye I think I'll do something with that later I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that but I'll just blend everything together and then it'll be time to move on to my foundation now that I'm looking at it I think I might actually mix together flames this orange here and love yourself this one just here just to go over the crease slightly and blend it just because I think that will tie in nicely with the peach here and the yellow there so I'm gonna give that a go see how that ends up so I like how that all goes together so I'm just gonna tidy it up slightly then I'll move on and do my foundation as ever it's the same process as always and then I will come back and show you the concealer and the rest of the look White as a ghost as ever, so there we go. Um, you may be thinking that I forgot to do underneath my eyes. I actually didn't today. Uh, the reason that I waited is because I uh, wanted to cover over the fallout from the glitter because it is very um, glittery and it has a lot of flakes. 
So now I'm gonna do that just before I do my concealer. I'm gonna use the shade Flames, just the dark orange that we used before, and just kind of brush that under my eyes, going up towards the top lid there. And as you can see, uh, there's already a little bit of yellow just there. So I'm just gonna kind of top that up, bring that into the middle, so that those two match up. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer just underneath my eyes on my nose, just basically where I'm gonna be highlighting. So now I'm gonna put the um, powder everywhere that I've just concealed, just let that bake for a bit. Then I'll do my highlight and then my blush. Uh, then I will probably come back, show you uh, me kind of touching up the eye there just to make it look a bit nicer. Then I will set my powder and that'll be it. And then we'll move on to the lips. Start by going over the um, orange that we did earlier, just make sure we've got that, so it matches each side. We'll do a little bit more of the red that we did originally just here because it's a bit darker on the other side than it is on this one. Now just to blend out the top a little bit, I'm going to go in with highlight. I actually really like doing this, um, going over the top of the eye with highlight. Um, I have to be careful not to do too much because it is very pigmented, this highlight. I'm just literally going to do little swooping motions there. So now for my lips, I'm going to go in with this Primark <laughs> Matte Brown. Um, it's a nice one, it's actually really... What's the word? What's the word? It's not drying. Moisturising, probably. <laughs> but it's not drying on my lips, which is really good considering it's a budget brand. So yeah, just put that all over. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I'm going to start by doing my eyeliner. Kind of botched that eyeliner up good and proper, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on just so it's got some on the eyes. Um, and then I will go ahead and apply my false lashes. I'm going to be using the Seven Deadly Sins um, false lashes which are greed, the ones that I use. There's the finished look. Um, I just blotted my lipstick um, because it's a matte one and so it should look matte. So I just blot it. Um, I love this palette so much. It was one of the first non-drugstore ones that I bought and I think it's amazing. Um, I think it was something like 10, 15 pounds. So it's definitely like incredible value for money. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this look. Sorry about my greasy hair. I'm trying to get my hair back into intermittent washing and it's not liking it so far. Um, but yeah, if you did like it, then give it a like. Um, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you have any looks you'd like me to try or any palettes, then let me know. Like I say, I've got some uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia, Anastasia, I don't know. I have some Anastasia something, Beverly Hills um, eye brow pencil coming. So I'll let you know when I get that and I'll do a review of that one. And I've also got a new palette coming. So when that arrives, I will show you that one as well. But I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.